Let's get to another big story we've been following for you. A new leader at the Phoenix Police Department answering questions for the first time about how he will do his job during a time of intense scrutiny and staff shortages. Team 12's Joe Dana sat down with new acting chief Michael Sullivan. And Joe, what is your sense of how this chief will lead? Well, Michael Sullivan was very careful with his words. He did not declare any new bold policies or announce specific changes to the office. He does face some challenges, especially given the scrutiny involving 15 protesters falsely charged as gang members in 2020. Um, as you know, an independent investigation into the arrest of protesters found that Phoenix police and Maricopa County prosecutors exaggerated evidence that police testimony was, quote, egregious, false and incomplete. How do you assess that chapter of Phoenix PD and how will you use it to improve the department moving forward? You know, I think it would be probably inappropriate of me to speak about something that there's ongoing litigation about, but I can tell you uh, I'm focused on accountability. Uh, and, you know, accountability-led accountability leadership is, is something that I think is very important. That starts with me and starts with the example that I plan to set for the men and women of the Phoenix Police Department and the Phoenix community and expect that out of the officers. The Department of Justice is conducting a civil rights investigation of the agency. I also asked Chief Sullivan about staff shortages. He says he wants to focus on retaining existing officers on the back end as well as recruiting on the front end. As of July, the department was short about 500 officers. Not a new problem. Staff shortages is something many companies and law enforcement agencies are dealing with.